yes guys welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back to the channel you know giving thanks for a beautiful day sun is shining and everything is nice so today i just want to touch on varora mic you know guys it's a pest and that's that thing is act affecting honeybees all over right i guess every week people have that challenge so just want to touch on it um the effects and some of the treatments that we can use to help us um help us overcome these pests you know yeah so first i just want to tell you that um what is verona might i guess Verona mite, as I said, it's a tick, like a, 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 it's a pest, right? A parasite kind of thing, right? It's a pest that affect the honeybees by sticking on it and feeding on the honeybees. Stick on the back, or stick on the honeybees, stick on the larva, and suck, suck from them, right? They feed on them. So, that's just what Verona mite is, you know? <laughs> yeah! And Verona mite, it's a very it's it's very small but it's very dangerous you know very very dangerous and when you look at the effect and the things that it does you would like whoa yeah man but verona might right now what it does it, it latches onto the, the developing bees right or the brood and once it keep feeding on the fat it makes um it makes that bee become weak the immune system of the bees become weak so with that the bees can't function right nothing they'll be able to do like everything that they're doing like all they're thinking about is this person and their back right so verona might <laughs> it's a very bad thing you know and the most visible sign of the effect of a verona mite or the infestation of verona mite is like this thing they call DWV, right? The deform wing virus. The deform wing virus, yes, that's it. So deform wing virus is basically the mite goes inside the cell. So when the egg is there and that larva is growing and develop into a bee, the mite feed on them. So the wings, the wings of the bees become deformed, right? So the bee, sometimes even the abdomen becomes short. It's not as tall as the other one so those bees don't really live for too long and they can't fly because their wing is deformed so varora might when it affect the hive these are some of the some of the things that will happen right because if the foragers can't fly to go foraging the nurse bees can't function well then the colony is gonna collapse you know and in no time because if you think about it the worker bees is the one that does basically all the, all the work inside the hive so if they're not functioning right then you know it's gonna be bad right so that's one of the things so one of the my treatment that i use is formic acid right and the formic acid it's good why i like to use it is it's very effective because what it does it's it, it, it the scent rises inside when it wants to place it inside the box basically it penetrates the cell and kill the mite that is inside the cell you know those mite that goes inside the cell so when the queen lay and they go inside then they and they cap it they will stay inside and develop feeding on the bees or feeding on the larva and that's where they stay until they're, they're the bees is um develop and hatches right so that might he lives in there he lay that might lays there and he create a fam, family inside the hive but once they're inside that thing now the formic acid penetrates it and kill them inside but it doesn't affect the bees so that's a good thing that's why i like it because the other treatment like apivir apivir is good right Apivir, Apivir, yeah, Apivir, it's good, right, but it's effective for those, like, on contact, right, so, the ones inside the cell, if they keep affecting the honeybees from inside, like, giving them that virus, the deformed wing virus, 
then the apple vera is not if, as effective. It's not gonna be a, that as effective because it's gonna kill. The adult, or it will say, it kill the mite and contact, right? It has to contact with the mite to kill them. So that's one of the things, the difference between the formic acid and the apple vera or apple guard, those strips, right? The different strips. But if you can kill them from inside the cell, then you know you have you stand a better chance but the problem with formic acid now it it's a temperature it does it works with the temperature because if the temperature is too cold it doesn't work too well and if it's too hot it's not gonna it's not it's too it's not too good for the bees right because the sensation right so each treatment has its own use or, or you say they use it different it, it, you know so with a combination like for instance if you treat with formic acid and you kill those inside and contact and you know formic acid after a few days that's it because it's, it's used like the, the sensation right that's the sensation so after a few few days the vapor is gonna gone and then it's done right but those mites are gonna be dead right and then after now you treat with the upper veer are the apivar and that one now when you treat with that one you know it's like for 40 40 days or plus something like that couple days you can check it out but say 40 days inside the hive and it kill it will kill the remaining and contact you know because when the bees bounce on it the particles from the treatment goes on to the mite and that kills the mite so without the bees come in contact with the mite or come in contact with the ap ap apivir, it doesn't work. So each one has its own um, thing. And then the best one they say, uh, for instance, um, for cold weather, if the temperature is really cold and you need to treat, the best treatment will be the acetic acid, right? That's a vapor, right? And each one, like for instance, if you if you have the honey super on, you can't use that with the honey super because it leaves residue. The formic acid is the it, to me is the more safer one. Because after a few days it fumigates and it's gone. Right? It doesn't leave a lot of residue. And unlike um even the apri the um apivir. The apivir now you can't use it with the uh, super. You'd have to take off your honey supers and use it. But the safest one to me is the formic acid, but it's strong. So all you have to do is just follow the instruction. I can only say, say, you know, but overall, to each his own. So you can try and see what works for you. Depends on where you are in Earth, you know, because as I said, formic acid works good, but the temp it has a um, temperature. And when the heat is like, for instance, if the heat, if it's very warm, you have to have good ventilation, like for me to so that, that, that the, fume, the fumes can come out or circulate, else the bees is gonna get um, edgy, aggressive, and they're gonna, you know, it's not gonna make it nice. But if, if you have the proper ventilation, the, like for instance, today is not so, the sun is shining, but it's not that hot, right? So today could be a good day. And if it's too cold, then this, this, the, um, the vapors won't travel. So you have to have the right temperature, right? That's why you, you have to just follow the instruction on these mite treatments, right? But all of them, they kill the mite, you know? Some work faster, some work slower, some work in hot weather, some work in cold weather, some work in between. So it's just you have to find what works for you, but mite, that varora mite, it's a pest, right? And that's what we need to get at. If you can treat those during like that dirt season or you say, once you find them and you, and you can treat them before you, your eye become infested, it's the best thing for a beekeeper. And you'll be good going into the winter. Like for instance, right now winter is coming. So we have to make sure all our eyes are fully active and fully um strong and might free 
So that's why I'm just touching on these topics right now. Just telling you about um Varora might because it's a we, we need to deal with it. If you don't deal with it, <laughs> you're gonna lose your colony. Period. Because the effect that it has on honeybees is devastating. Crazy. You know? Because the honeybee bar when once they once it if it if it create that virus and it hatches, the honeybee hatches, it's deform. You know, the, it's sad to say, but the only bee become like a handicap. No wings, wingless, you know. So it's just one of those things, yeah. Yes, guys, thank you for watching this one, yeah. So if you like the video, you can just like, share, and subscribe to the channel, you know. Bless up yourself, and you can drop a comment down in the comment section, you know, make you know what you think or, or what kind of, um, the type of treatment you use or something. You know, put something down there so we can know what's going on. Cause they say each one teach one, so we're here to learn and to share our knowledge. You know, so yeah, man. So just pass on the word. Yeah, blessings. Yes, I.